Good morning, it's Sunday the 28th of May 2017. A warm welcome along to today's United Kingdom Talk, boys and girls. And I'm fresh in from church. I'm fresh in from church this morning. Uh, I don't know what the hit myself and Vivian. Vivian, who usually sits next to me. Well, she was. She always sits next to me. Um, she brought her two grandchildren in today. I think they were. And um, we're singing away. We're singing through the whole mass. And then at the end, they produced this hymn that we didn't know. What's all that about? We never knew the hymn. In fact, it all went very quiet. It was only the choir that was singing the hymn. We like to have hymns that we know, please. I shall have to send an email. Excuse me, Father David. Please, could you only sing hymns that we know? Didn't know the last hymn. It's outrageous. Do you mind if I undo a top bun? It's very hot in here. Still no air conditioning. I'm not having any air conditioning here for now about two weeks. It's gonna, I know it's going to be two weeks. I'll give the bloke who came on Sunday, another uh, uh, on Tuesday, or was it Wednesday last week? I can't remember. I'll give him another two days, and if they don't send a quote, I'll go elsewhere. Honestly, you'd think they want the money, don't you? Anyway, back to the church. Not only did we not know the last hymn, apparently Father David said there is a bit of an infestation of ants in the church. And that's funny, because when I was kneeling down, because in Catholic church, you're up and down all the time. Up, down, up, down. You start up, then you sit down. Then you get up and then you sit down. Then you get up and then you kneel down and then you stand up and you kneel down and then you go for a walk and then you kneel down and then you sit down, then you stand up, then you go home. That is the whole mass. Yes, with lots of chatting in between. It's very good. You should come with me one way. Well, I think we should have a United Kingdom talk. Um... A uh, crowd of people to attend one. We could take up the whole church. That would be quite nice, wasn't it? Anyway, back to the ants. Yes, and while I was kneeling there for a period of time, I did notice a couple of ants cross my path. Outrageous. Apparently, so far, but... Oh, please, who's ringing now? I haven't got time to do phone calls now. Um... What was I saying now? Oh, yes, that's right. Um, I remember now seeing a couple of ants walking past me. Outrageous, dear. Ants going past me. Apparently, he says, so if you don't mind bringing sandwiches in in future, don't mind not bringing sandwiches. I thought, who brings sandwiches into church? You know, next thing, they'll be bringing kebabs in and chips and things like that. Sit up, noshing him while he's doing, noshing, noshing the food while he's listening. While we're listening. Outrageous. Anyway, that's the ant problem in church got out of the way. Good morning to you, boys and girls. Welcome along to our exciting Sunday morning show. Um, let's say hello to early people this morning who are with us. Good morning to James Clark, who says, Hi, Chris. Just wondered, are you still preparing the show when the five-minute countdown is on, or are you doing your makeup? I don't wear makeup. Come on. Look, look. Hang on. Proof that I don't wear makeup. Look, I'm going to wet my finger. Oh, that taste of cheese and onion. Oh, I've just had a bag of crisps and I. Oh, don't don't tell Adam the plumber, for God's sake. I'm supposed to be going to Slimming World on Tuesday. Me, first time. Hang on, let's have a go. See, has it come off? No, thank you very much. No makeup on me, thank you. No, I am, um, actually, I don't start the five minute countdown until I'm ready. I've done everything that I want to do before. I've even got my shirt on. Everything's ready. No no jacket. No more jackets until that aircon's fixed or replaced. But I have, I've, I'm completely ready. I sit down here and I push the button and it starts. So, no, I'm not I'm not actually doing anything. While that, sometimes I pop and have a little wee. If, oh, maybe I should try and have a little wee first. You know, I stand up there and, you know, I try and squeeze whatever it is in your body. that I try and, I try and squeeze my bladder to get out every last drop. Because you don't want to go to the toilet halfway for a show, do you? I have heard radio people do that before. They have to play adverts. Well, there are no adverts here, are there, James? No adverts. So, no, I'm all ready by then. Hello to Shania. Good morning, Shania. Good morning, Diane. Lovely Diane. It's a lovely day out there, actually. Yeah, it is beautiful out there. Kevin Webster's with us. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, Wendy's with us this morning. We morning, Wendy. Did you want to borrow a tissue, Wendy? I've got a duster. I've got a little duster here. Because last night, I was uh, doing cabaret last night. I don't know how this got in my pocket. But it's like a curtain, isn't it? Da, 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 da. Look, look. Da, 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 da. It's good, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Last night, I was DJing at uh, uh, Central Station in London. 
And um, we had a cabaret artist, Dusty Springs, who was very good. And one of her props, he gives out loads of dusters. And I managed to get one, um, which I thought I might use today, actually. I mean, it's filthy and dusty. It's always filthy and dusty in here. But uh, as usual, you know, I, I went in there last night. Well, you've never seen such a miserable load of people in all your life. Oh, they were so down. Of course, I walk in there. I've got to pick it up before the cabaret starts. And uh, I think eventually, you know, people have generally started enjoying themselves, I think, because they certainly weren't before I blooming started. <laughs> I tell them, I tell them, why have you all come out tonight? In particular, there was a couple, man and woman, sitting on a table by the stairs. Oh, God. Well, I just had a... F I didn't think they liked anything they saw or heard in there last night. And they were those sort of people who say, all right, you're all right over there. And then they look at each other and talk to each other and then look at you. And then you try again and then they look at each other. It's like... I don't know what all that's about. I don't know what that's about. I thought it was me, but then the drag came up. They didn't like her either. Miserable bastards. They were both about 60 years old, I suppose. Miserable, miserable people. Please, why do you even bother coming out? Stay in home. Watch a Sky subscription. You know, sit there. We don't want to see your miserable faces. Why would you go into a bar full of people and not want to talk to anyone else? What the hell's all that about? Anyway, I was very pleased to see them go halfway through the cabaret. You, Her face. I mean, you would have died if you saw her face. you never seen anything like it in your life. Miserable, miserable, miserable. And him as well. Him as well. Horrible people. Anyway. Uh, good morning to Callum. Good morning, Callum. Nice to see you, Callum. Uh, Simon Gilman's there. Hello, Simon. What do you think of the Manchester Terror? Horrified. Horrified, Simon. Absolutely horrified. Dreadful. Shania says, I didn't know the last hymn we had last night at church. Or maybe it was the same one. In fact, it's not, it's not even a memorable one. The notes were all over the place, dear. I didn't know that one at all. Hmm. Morning, Jerry. Morning, Ray Reynolds is with us this morning. Callum says, I've got a lovely new girlfriend now called Carrie. Carrie doesn't live here anymore. Carrie doesn't live by the second floor or something like that. Wasn't there a Carrie in a horror film where she started eating, eating people or beating? I can't remember now. There was a film called Carrie. I'm sure it was a horror film. Oh, she's not that girl, is she? Oh, be very careful, dear. Don't fall asleep. You might wake up with a knife above you. <gasps> ah! E -e 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 -e. Yes. Hmm. Um, Paul Gallagher's there. Hello, Paul. Adam's there. You'll be singing all by myself. Crisps. Oh, no, he's heard me. I didn't know you were there, Adam. Crisps. Walkers, cheese and onion crisps. But only small bag. Two small bags, that is. Only two small bags. That was from the co-op. I don't know what they were doing in there this morning. There's a, uh, the, the, I mean, again, a place full of miserable people this morning. Morning. You, you, I, I, try, I forced them to say, oh, good morning. Miserable, miserable people. Is there no happiness in the world anymore? There will if you vote for Theresa May. She will make us all happy. Make sure you do that, my darlings. XX. <laughs> <laughs> Long queue in the co-op this morning. And it was like, what time am I getting? About up past 10? All queuing up, one person on the till. She didn't seem very happy. But then there was my favourite member of staff in there, Jack. He's very, very tasty. That Jack works in the co-op uh, just down the road here in Hanworth, Bracknell, if you want to go and visit him. He's, taught, he's got loads of hair. Loads of hair. Unlike myself, where this is rad rapidly disappearing. I, I got bites on my head. I got that uh, all on my arm. Look, I don't know if I, you can still see them now. They've gone down a lot. But um, I was off Thursday. So I went and did some nighttime garden. Anyone do that? Nighttime gardening. So you, I don't think you can see that. Oh, you can just about. I don't know. Can you see? Yes, you can. Look, can you see? They're, little, they're only little ones. There's, there's a big one there. There's one there. And they're incredibly itchy. And it was Thursday night. I went out and done some gu nighttime gardening. Of course, in a T-shirt and some shorts. And I was aware of flies, little flies that kept landing on me. You can fit, you know, you. Oh, 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 oh. But I suppose by then, by the time you've you felt them too late, their beaks or whatever they've got, their beaks have have burrowed into your skin and are injecting some sort of itching powder into you, aren't they? I don't agree with people injecting people into each other like that. It's outrageous. Or insects, I beg your pardon. I don't agree with insects injecting into me like that without my permission. It's outrageous. That's a form of rape. 
I'm sorry, it's a f I've been raped by insects. They have injected into my arms. It's outrageous. Outrageous. There should be a law against that. Anyway, you don't notice it. You keep brushing it off like that, you know, carry on with the walking. And eventually you get fed up with it and you come back indoors. Well, of course, it's not it's not then that the problem starts. It's the next morning, isn't it? Or while you're in bed. Oh, what's that itch there? And the little bumps come up. Oh, awful. Awful, awful, awful. So I'm a bit covered in, uh, in uh, I'm not covered in bites at the moment, but there's enough of them there. Uh, nighttime. Who does nighttime gardening? Anyone? Oh, it's lovely and peaceful and quiet. I don't make too much noise because of uh, the neighbours, of course. Um, uh, uh, yes, just a moment. Oh, yes, Shania says it might have been the same one as us. The notes were all over the place for us as well. Well, sometimes, Shania, if I don't know the hymn, I will write down the number and learn it. But I didn't like this one. I'm sorry. I didn't like that one. We did a Mary hymn today because, of course, it's May, the month of Our Lady. Now, what was the Mary hymn we did? Um... Daily, 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 sing to Mary. Da, 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 da. That was our, that was our communion hymn today. That was our communion one, Shania. Callum says there is a film called Carrie and her name is after a song called Hey Carrie Ann. Well, um, Carrie doesn't live here. Carrie was by Cliff Richard. Did you know that, Callum? Cliff Richard, Carrie doesn't live here. I'm sure it's Cliff Richard. Look it up, dear, and tell, come back to me. Good morning to Alan. Morning, Alan, who says I will definitely be down tomorrow. Oh, you've said that for weeks now, Alan. I'm not holding my breath, dear. I'm not going to hold my breath. Promises, 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 dear. Really is, lovey. I will definitely be down tomorrow with a special guest. Not saying who, but you haven't seen him for a while. Is it Barry Manilow? Are you bringing Barry Manilow to my... To my to my karaoke tomorrow night. Please bring Barry. I think he'd have a wonderful time. I really do. I wonder what Barry drinks. I don't think he, I, I probably don't think he does drink. Isn't it amazing to be so thin and lovely like that all your life? Oh, dear. I'm Slimming World Tuesday. That's where I'm going. Or is it by the Hollies? What, Carrie? Hang on a minute. Carrie, da, da, I'm sure it's not, doesn't live here anymore. One moment, please. Checking. Incorrect. Uh, uh, Carrie was by Cliff Richard. It's on YouTube, YouTube. Carrie. It's just called Carrie. C-A-R-R-I-E. Carrie, Carrie, Cliff Richard, Cliff Richard, Cliff Richard. Here it is. Where's the song lyrics? Oh, you don't want me to sing it for you, do you? Would you like a live song this morning? I don't know if it's even on the system. One moment, please. Searching for you. I'm going to sing to your girlfriend. Is she with us this morning? Or is she at her house? I mean, I don't know, dear. You young people, you make me laugh. You meet someone and you move in the next day. What's all that about? God's sake, that would do my head. I don't think I could live with anyone anymore. Carrie. Oh, no, I got Carrie Ann. I got Carrie Ann. Is that the Hollies one? Yeah, that's the Hollies. Car no, oh, I'm sorry. Not available. Hang on. Maybe it's on YouTube, YouTube. One moment, please. Carrie. Carrie. Come on, Carrie. C -A Carrie. Cliff. Ah. Cliff Richard Karaoke. Carrie. One moment, please. Oh, here it is. Cliff Richard Carrie MF Vocal. What's MF Vocal mean? Don't know. Let's, let's hit the button and see what happens. One moment, please. Are you ready to be sung to? Yeah, baby. Oh, as made famous by me. Yeah, baby. Oh. I'm not sure that I know the song. Is it a long intro? Join in, everyone. Do I know this song or not? I don't know. Sorry to disturb you, but I will... Oh, no, I don't know the song. I only know the chorus. No, I don't know that song, sorry, but I did make the effort, and that's the most important thing, you see. I've said so many times before, I've said to you so many times before, when you come to karaoke nights, you don't have to sing, but you need to make a little bit of an effort and join in the fun. I very much doubt that those two miserable gits who were in Central Station last night would have joined in. Oh, miserable, miserable, miserable. Oh, I don't like... Please don't watch this show if you're miserable. Thank you. Callum says she's in bed with me right now. Oh, see what I mean? As the young people do, they meet someone 
Oh, oh, hello, my name's Chris. Oh, hello, my name's Mark. Oh, do you want to come home and move in? That's how it is now. There's no dating anymore. The apps have seen, gone to that. Mind you, it's saving us an awful lot of money, isn't it? Or well, not me, but you. The lads who used to go around and take the girls out, or the other lads, of course. Um, you know, you, you used to have to spend a fair old amount of money first, didn't you? Eh? Little trip to the cinema, perhaps a few dinner dates. You might get a kiss after that. Not anymore. Straight at it. Dear me, like rabbits. What's wrong with you all? <laughs> Alan says, I sang with Cliff Richard once. He was on the radio and I was in the bath. Yes, was that the only time, Alan? He probably heard you singing and stopped singing himself. Terrible, terrible, terrible. All right. No, I've tried. I've tried, Wendy. That didn't work for me, my love. That didn't work for me at all, that one. <laughs> Who's better looking than Barry? What, Cliff Richard? I don't think so, darling. I don't think so. It's not all about looks, dear. The talent, the talent. They've all got so much talent. They really have. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, um... If you were with us yesterday, you noticed we were recording a show yesterday for Upload Radio. Well, I've sent the show off now to Upload Radio and uh, they, they moderate it. What they do is they listen to it because um, if it's going to be on DAB Radio, it has to pass certain rules. Whereas me talking to you, I could say anything I want, anything I want, but I don't. Well, I, yes, I do, really. No, I do say anything I want. You know, but I think there's a line that I, w I personally wouldn't run across. I could if I wanted to, if there was a line. If I wanted to say something that, um, uh, let, me, let me think, what could I say? That that incited racism or um, what, what's that? violence or something like that, then I could just do it. I could just do it. Facebook would probably pick it up at one point, I suppose, and, and shut me off. But by then it's too late. It's gone. Do you know what I mean? I could do that if I want to, but I would never do that. Number one, I'm not racist. And number two, I don't want you to go around beating people up. Although I could send you a list of people, actually, that I'm... Uh, no, forget it, no. Uh, <laughs> don't start beating people up. I wouldn't do that, OK? Similarly, on radio, if you was uh, on, uh, on, on normal radio, like uh, DAB radio or FM radio, those rules apply but uh, uh, more stringently, all right? So if they, they have to listen to what I... I'm saying before they put the show out, because if they put the show out and there's something horrible on there, they would get into trouble and I would get into trouble as well. On the Internet, different thing. You can just say you can you know you can. You can switch on your camera now, your little webcam at home, do a little show and say anything you want to. You might make a lot of enemies. But you could say anything you want to on the radio, a little bit different. Common sense generally prevails. So I uploaded my show to them and um, there was a, 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 a little thing that, uh, you, you, as I say, it's not, not, it's not free. I'm, I haven't been employed by a radio station. I just want to point that out. You know, I haven't actually been employed on a radio station. What it is, is a radio station that anyone can be on. You can, you can do your own show with or without music. They're all licensed for music and all this business. And uh, then you send it up to them and you pay them. And the show is played out. It's 20 quid, 20 quid for a show to be played out. So I thought I thought I would try that for um, a month or so and see how it goes. And that went very well yesterday. So they've listened to it. Everything's OK. And that will be on Upload Radio, which is uh, that's yesterday's show, which you've probably heard already, you know. But just in case you want to have another listen, it's on Upload Radio tomorrow uh, and tonight at nine o'clock UK time. Now, Upload Radio is on DAB in southwest London and Surrey and sort of just around those areas as well. So southwest London and Surrey. And of course, it's online as well. If you want to listen online, then go to Upload Radio. Just type it in Upload Radio. You'll see it there. And you want you want the station that serves southwest London and Surrey. OK, and that's on tonight at nine o'clock. And the same show is being played out tomorrow at nine o'clock. And I think we're going to do one a week now. I, I really I think what I need to do is try and get a, a permanent time, like the same time every week or something like that, um, to both record and play it out. So I'm thinking I'll probably do the 
recording for Upload Radio on Saturdays. And that could include any sort of stories that I've already done. So on Saturdays, if we do a show, show on Saturday, let me just get myself a bit more comfortable. If we do a show on Saturday, it might include stuff that you've already heard, you know, that I think is particularly good for that. All right. So that was all well and good. And that's on tonight and tomorrow night at uh, nine o'clock. Uh, anyone see Doctor Who last night? Oh, they've got these new monsters. The, I think it's the monk. Is it the monk? Oh, they're ugly, but they are ugly as sin. They look like corpses. I'm looking at these monk monsters on Doctor Who last night, and I thought, I haven't seen, I've got another 10 minutes to watch yet. I've, I've seen everything other than 10 minutes. Um, but they look like walking corpses. They really, very, 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 very frightening. And of course, they're trying to take over the earth, and they've got this pyramid that, that's appeared. I've got hiccups now. No. Not while I'm doing this, surely. Hold on to those hiccups. <laughs> oh, I have. <laughs> Not the hiccups while I'm talking to you. So excellent uh, episode of Doctor Who last night. And um, of course, I, I will watch uh, Casualty as well a little bit later on. Ashley said, uh, Chris is racist. He hates everyone. <laughs> I don't know about that, Ashley. Yeah, I love it. Ashley was in the pub last night. He's got a lovely new haircut. Very, very nice, that is. I like your haircut. I really do. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Alan says, today, if you make a post with bad language, you will get a 24-hour ban posting on Facebook. Yeah, you probably will. You probably would. But you see, the point is, Alan, it's too late. It's gone. Do you see what I mean? It's gone. Whereas the people that upload radio, they listen to your whole show. For, I think they listen to your whole show. I don't, that must take some time for them to do that for everyone's show. But presumably they do or they run it through some sort of... Uh, maybe they play it at, at faster speed. They probably pick up the audio and play it at faster speed just to get through the whole thing because they can't afford for something bad to go out. They, they could lose their licence through something like that. So you can't have anything like that, you see. Um, Adam says, remind me of that song by Monty Python that you can't say on the radio. Oh, I don't know what that is. What is it? Monty Python song? Is that one that you sing? Oh, yes. No, I'm not saying that, dear. I'm not saying these words. I don't want to say those words, uh, Adam. It's a clean show, dear. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. Doctor Who. Oh, dear. Have a look at Doctor Who. Get it on the iPlayer. Last night's Doctor Who. The Monk. The Corpses. One day, I hate to tell you this, boys and girls, but we're all going to look like that when we're dead. It's true. It's true. Sunken grey skin and face and no eyes. Because the eyes go first, you know. Oh, yes, dear. I, I, I don't know what happens whether they melt or they get eaten by something. Dreadful, dreadful. The monk on Doctor Who, keep an eye on that. Um, is something uh, to get your teeth into, right? Why is it that when we have, like, when you've got the news on the telly or something like that, why do they have the blooming sport on at the same time on all the news channels? Have you noticed that? You know, so a BBC News Channel comes on, you're watching the news, and okay, and now we're going to go to our sports room. And they flick up at sports, and as soon as I and as soon as I hear that word sports, yeah, I'm on the remote. Click, let's go to another channel. And Sky do exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. What's all that again? Because sport is so boring to watch. Oh, I think my nephew's in a little bit of disarray at the moment because my nephew, Jimmy, 20 years old, is a Chelsea football supporter. I don't think he's one of the thugs yet. I don't think so. But he might be going around beating up a few people later on. I think him and his brother and some friends are coming down to London. Possibly they're here now. I don't know. Well, I'm not in London, as you know. But uh, I think they're coming down or are already in London. Now, they had come down to watch the Chelsea parade. Um, the Chelsea, they said, we're going down to watch the Chelsea victory parade. Well, they never won. <laughs> they never won, did they? Poor old Chelsea never won. So that wouldn't have been a victory parade, but pre presumably some sort of parade would have gone. So what is a victory parade? Basically, everyone comes out in the streets um, and a coach goes past with the footballers on the top who are waving. That's it. That is a victory parade. And apparently, according to my nephew, 
that warrants buying a £50 train ticket to get there and back to stand there and wave at a coach. Oh, you don't even get to see, uh, to talk to them or touch them. You know, I can't lie to you. If Cristiano Ronaldo was walking in front of the bus and I had a little bit of a chance to touch his bum as he walked past, I might pay that 50 quid. But to just wave like that at a coach, well, that's beyond me. You might as well just do it to any coach. You just get, get, get out of your car on the motorway, stand on the hard shoulder, wait for a National Express coach to pass and wave it here. Hello! Wouldn't you? What's that about? Sport, so boring. And a bit gay, to be honest. Football is very, very gay. All those blokes, they score a goal, then they start snogging each other in the middle of the field, dear. And then they get into that bath. Well, God knows what goes on in that bath, dear. A lot of, I reckon there's a lot of touching goes on in that bath. Oh dear, must be being like in a blooming in a blooming jacuzzi. Reminds me of chariots. A lot of touching going on. Awful. And the do they shower before they get in the bath? Dirty people, dear. Dirty. You'd you'd get rid of the mud first, wouldn't you? Not that any of them. You know, they probably as soon as they come off the football pitch, you've seen what they're like now. They're always in these hair adverts and things like that. I bet they come off the pitch and they're straight in front of the mirror. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, David, David, is is my hair all right? Well, I don't know. Uh, I've got to go, boys. I've got to go and do an, another advert for Armani underwear. I mean, David Beckham, please put it away now, love. You're too old. Too old. We want to see someone young. Why do we have to see David Beckham in a pair of underpants? Oh, it made, oh, it made me feel sick. Mind you, that's cleared, that's cleared me hiccups, hasn't it? Have you noticed that? <laughs> uh, good morning to Peter Hydes. Morning, Peter. Ashley says, believe it or not, Chris, a lot of people actually do sport. Well, not you, judging from the look of you. I looked at him last night and I've... I've did, it, did you say you used to do the gym? And I thought that was a long time ago, Ashley. Come on, dear. Get back down there, love. Dear me. Ashley had grey tracksuit... Tr grey tracksuit shorts on last night, didn't you? Yes. Mm. Good morning to Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. La, 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 la. I think I might do that. I'm going to make a note of that one. Maria for karaoke. I might try that one. That's a Central Station type song, isn't it, eh? Talking of karaoke, we got karaoke tonight. Anyone in Camden? Camden Town. Oh, yes. Every Sunday, it's karaoke tonight, 8 p.m. till 11 p.m. So, you know, won't be too late. For the, oh, oh, it's oh, it's a bit late. Oh, oh, I've got to go work tomorrow morning. It's a bit late. Oh, do me a favour. Do me a favour. Pathetic. Come on, get out that door tonight. You know where Camden Tube Station is? Camden Town Tube Station. You come out the door and it's there. That is how close it is. That is how close it is, OK? That's tonight and every Sunday at the Camden Eye. Just opposite Camden Tube Station. Uh, starts at 8 o'clock and finishes at 11 o'clock. Come and sing us a song or two. And it's a bank holiday, so it's going to be very busy tonight. Um, other boring sports, uh, as I say, football, tennis. Tennis. Honestly, ladies, why have the ladies got these tennis skirts on? And all I could, every time they hit a ball, whoosh, knickers appear. White knickers all over the place in tennis. Have you seen them? Knickers hanging out everywhere. I don't know how the girls cope with that. I mean, presumably they must have a little bit of a shave down there first. Do they? I'm sick of seeing women's knickers on, on, on tennis things. Knickers, knickers, knickers. For... And then the, the judge. Who's the judge bloke on tennis under what they're called? Referee, umpire, umpire. The umpire sits there and he makes a decision and they just start throwing their bats all over the place. This is supposed to be a a, 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 a respectful sport. Who was that bloke years ago? McEnroe. Ghastly man. You cannot be serious. Why is everyone against me? Because they hate you. That's why, dear. I don't care how good you are or at what point you are in the 
in the hierarchy of humanity, there's no need to be bloody rude, dear. <laughs> That's tennis. Um, I have to say, I was watching the news last night and just before I flicked over from the sport, there was a boxer appeared. Is it Ke Kel Brook? Kel Brook, a boxer, boxer last night. Was it last night? Oh, he looked nice, didn't he? I think mixed race. Very, very tasty. I would willingly sell my home and all its contents for just one date with him. Kel Brooks, was it Kel? Did he win? I bet he beat that man to a pole. He beat them down, did he? I like to hear the sound of that. Yes, swimming. Now, swimming's all right if you do it. If you do the swimming, you know, as, as with all these sports, really, if you are doing the sports, I don't really have a problem with that. It's people who sit there on the telly and watch them. They sit there, you know, all, all the football's coming on there or the boxing's coming on there and they go into the kitchen, they get the cupboards, they've got three packs of Doritos, some Walker's cheese and onion crisps, dips to go in them, cans of lager, cans of fizzy drink, some chocolate as well, and they sit there getting fatter and fatter and fatter watching these people do their sports. What the hell is all that about? Swimming. I mean, to watch it on the telly. Just, they jump in the pool, up, down, up, down, up, down. And they got the audacity, Sky have got the audacity to charge you 30, 40, 50 quid to watch this stuff. It's just someone going up and down in water. Are you mad paying for this stuff? People running around a field, kicking a ball in a goalpost, and you're paying 50 quid a month for it? You're off your heads, you are. Completely and totally off your heads. I mean, the little bums, the bloke's bums that stick out the water as it goes up and down, that ain't too bad to see, is it? But come on, let's be honest, we can get much better than stuff like that on the internet. Usomething.com. I can't remember the exact name of it, lovey. Swimming, going up and down. Boring. Diving. Diving again. I mean, what is diving? They run up this little ladder to the top there and they jump in. That's it. There is no entertainment. OK, some of them go up there and then they jump and they turn around a couple of times and then they drop in. Where's the entertainment? I mean, OK, I give you, if it's Tom Daly, then maybe that's a different thing. Everyone likes to see Tom Daly's little happy face. I wonder who sat on that in the past. Cycling. Well, cycling, I'm sorry. Now, I'm a cyclist, OK? I am not a professional cyclist. I don't have all that skin-tight lycra stuff. What do they look like? Great big fat people my size in skin-tight lycra. Ten sizes too small for them. What do they look like? And they're aggressive. They're not only aggressive to other motorists, they're aggressive towards pedestrians and they're aggressive towards other cyclists. I've seen them rowing. And then you get the ones with the little cameras at the top there. Don't you hate them? How much do you hate? Let's have a badge made. I hate professional cyclists. We're not talking about the kids, the youngsters who go out, you know, when their mums and dads on a little cycling. We're not talking about that. Maybe some, some youngsters over the path or the old bloke who's cycling to work. We're not talking about those. We are talking about the fat Lycra cat ones with the special helmets, the camera on the top, the shoes and the aggression. We hate cycling. We need badges. We hate cyclists. We hate cyclists. And finally, cricket. Oh, God. I can't think of anything more boring than watching cricket. And he hits the thing. Now and again, it gets exciting if the ball's got in between the legs. But they've got some sort of protective sphere around there, haven't they? They're like a sphere that covers bits and pieces. The thing is with cricket, how the hell do you know who's winning? And the score is 
25 for 16, not out and seven wickets. What does that mean? I mean, going back to football, okay, 3-0, which means the person who's got three has got three more than the one who's got nil, so they must be in the lead. Swimming, up, down, up, down, and you're watching, ah, that one won. The one who got there first. Even tennis, I can just about work out tennis. I don't know why it, why it goes 15-0, 30-0, and then 15-love. Why don't they just say 1-0, 2-0? Why make it complicated for people? But cricket, God knows what the hell goes on. I think they make it up as they go along. I, what the hell goes on with cricket? How the earth do you know who's winning? And then some of them, they, they abandon it, don't they? They know they're going to lose, so they just give up. That's not the way to go. You've got to keep going, dear. Got to keep going. Hmm. Let's do some more messages. Um, Ashley says, no way are you a cyclist, Chris. Your cycle bike in your garage doesn't count. Excuse me, I am a cyclist, Ashley. I cycled to and from church this morning, I'll have you know. While singing one of my favourite hymns, Daily, daily, sing to Mary and the Gloria, 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 and the Holy, Holy, Blessed is he, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You'd love it, dear. You must come with me one week, Ashley. But then the hymn at the end, I mean, I, I should have just gone. I should have walked out in disgust that none of us knew the last hymn. We don't want to learn new things. <laughs> Maria, Maria, I just met a girl named Maria. I, do you know, I think we'll do this sports one for the uh, for the Upload Radio show next week. What do you reckon? I'll do that again on Saturday. That um, Ashley, uh, Maria says, I have to be honest, Chris, watching your show is 100% better than watching your television these days. And yes, Maria, and your point there, your point there, two words you said there at the end, these days. Maria, I don't know how old you are. I was a child in the 70s and the television was fantastic. You did not want to go out on many nights of the week because the television was fantastic. Now, I've got to tell you, uh, my friend came round yesterday afternoon, Ronnie, my best mate, and uh, he came round for a little, little, little bite to eat, uh, as, as often happens at lunchtime. And uh, we watched a bit of telly and I put on uh, my favourite comedy show, can't pay, we'll take it away. I love it. I love it when they get that knock on the door. Oh, hello, we are um, uh, High Court Enforcement Officers. We have a debt here of £10,000. And they lie. The person... Oh, oh, oh. oh, don't know what that's... Oh, no. Don't, no idea what that's about. Don't know what that's about, I'm afraid. No. Well, you would have had a letter... No, no, I haven't received any letters. How can none of them have ever received a letter? Liars. Pay your debts. The funny thing is, most of them, by the end of all the mucking about, they seem to find the money somewhere. Isn't that strange? There was a bloke on there yesterday. It was about £10,000. Um, now, what did he owe the money? I can't remember what he owed the money for now, actually. Oh, that was it. It was a, it was a Chinese couple. They, what they had done is they had uh, rented a house from a landlord and then split the house up and sublet it and, and collected the rent from everyone else but not paid the landlord his rent. And they think they can get away with it. And then these two blokes come down. Uh, yes, you, you owe 10,000 pounds. The first thing they do, they go and they start make a phone call and check that, that, that the car belongs to this person and that it's got no finance on it. And then out comes the clamp. I love it. I am howling watching that. I am absolutely howling watching that program. And they try everything. And then there was a, uh, there was a bloke up in Birmingham. Now, what did he owe money for? Um... Can't remember what he owed money for. Anyway, so, so the, the two agents, so that started, and they start walking through the... I mean, let's be fair. You don't want these people coming around and just... They can walk through your house taking notes, dear. Taking it will take the cat for a start. She's a bit of a trouble. No, I, I don't mean that, darling. You're not having it. No one's putting their hands on my pussy. 
I'm telling you that now. You will not touch my pussy if you come in this house, unless you just want to stroke it gently. Oh, she's lovely, Katie. Lovely. And she used her litter tray yesterday once. Not all day, just the once, unfortunately, but there we are. Um, yes, and this, this bloke started ringing up his mates, and eventually there was a crowd there. And they were all like, no, you're not taking anything from there. I would have just called the police, didn't they? Just called the police. You've got to pay your debts. Most of them have got the money. They've got the money. And then you get the people who haven't paid their rent. Now, listen, kids. Listen. The most important bill that you should pay is either your mortgage or your rent. Before everything else, you've got to pay those bills. If you've got no electricity or gas, you can put up. It's not nice. I know it's not nice, but you need to keep that roof over your head. The most important thing for you to pay is your rent and your mortgage. And they're on the telly on that favourite programme of mine. Can't pay well. Take it away. They get dragged, kicking and screaming out of their houses. And I'm thinking, why didn't you just... And they've got all stuff in the house. They're all smoking or doing drugs. Big telly on the... On, on, on the, um, on the well, where did you get the money from that then? Oh, you bought that instead of paying your rent, didn't you? Very, very important to pay your rent. If you're um, a young person and you've not got your own place yet, then please, please listen to that. Always, always pay your rent and your mortgage first bill. If you owe money on anything else, that's okay. But not your mortgage. You've got to keep paying your mortgage or your uh, rent. All right? And anyway, so more and more people were coming round, and eventually they just called the police, and that was it then. They couldn't do anything then. Then the blokes had to leave, and they got that. And then, then the money comes in cash. Cash. They paid in cash. So they had the money. They just don't want to pay the blooming debt. I love it. Can't pay where take it away, Maria. But um, you're quite right. Within that program, up came an advert. Guess what for? Oh, God. Celebrity Big Brother. Oh, it's coming round again. Can't you believe it? It just keeps coming around like a bad smell. And I know exactly what you mean, Maria. Television, there is quite a lot of good stuff on, actually, at the moment. Um, I'm particularly looking for... Is it Sunday? Yes, I'm looking forward to... Um, oh, no, it's it's not on tonight, I think. They played the first one last Sunday, Inspector George Drench Gentry, with that excellent actor, Martin Shaw, who I've loved all his work for years and years. Now, part two of that is coming up at some other point. I'm not quite sure when it's on. Uh, but it is. So that's excellent. Uh, we've had uh, Victoria on ITV. Um, the little little boy blue, was it, about that, that young lad who accidentally got shot years and years ago and uh, the people, no one would uh, own up to it. And, and that was on, uh, I think it was little boy blue. Was it little boy blue? That was on. That was excellent. Uh, so there is some good stuff on. But on, on there is also a load of crap on. Celebrity jungle, eating insects and just horrible things. The, the, the whole Big Brother, um, X Factor, I'm not keen on X Factor, I don't like the form. I like the voice. I quite like the voice, but there's so much rubbish on you. are quite right, Maria. Um, Maria says, I'm older than... Is she, oh, are you older than me, Maria? Oh, I'm 54. So I don't know how you're older, but it's just a number, darling. It's just a number. Ashley said your solar panels would be the first to be taken from the officers. I doubt that very much. They wouldn't take those. They've got to get up on the blooming roof to get those. Haven't they? Can you see those those blokes, especially the fat one? There's a great... And he's horrible. There's only one of them I don't like. He's a great big fat thing with glasses, and he is just horrible. He's got spots on his face. And he's only young. He's probably about 30 years old. He's not nice at all, that one. All right. Um, let's do a couple of news stories this morning. Uh, bad news, boys and girls. If you don't like, I'm going to say the word, spiders. <laughs> spiders crawling over you. Evil spiders. Because this is in this morning's Kent Online. That's a, news, that's a new newspaper, isn't it? Kent Online. Um, a giant exotic spider has been taken away by the RSPCA and quarantined after being spotted clinging to the wall of a Seven Oaks home. These things are big. 
huntsman spiders are from Australia. The huntsman spider, which was the size of the inspector's hand, okay, was discovered clinging to a wall in the Medway. RSPCA animal collection officer Lewis Horton said, I honestly expected to get there and find a big owl spider or a toy spider or something silly, but it was a huntsman. It wasn't a giant huntsman. They get even bigger than your hand. I've seen them. When I was in Sydney in Australia, I'm walking to my mate's house. Uh, Paul is his name. Um, a few years ago. And we're walking past this wall because he lives in a flat. He said, he said, you seen that on the wall, Chris? And I looked round. My God, there were two of them sitting there standing on the wall like that. Huntsman's. I'm like, oh, my God. He said, it's all right. Completely harmless. They will bite you, Huntsman's. In fact... They jump on you. Huntsman spiders jump on you. But they are not poisonous. You'll get a nip, though. Oh, there's something about... I mean, it's bad enough being stung by a wasp or bitten by a dog. But there's something really sinister about being bitten by a spider. Ooh. Uh, it says it wasn't a giant huntsman, but it was big enough. It was about the size of the palm of my hand. So it wasn't the usual spider you expect to find in your house, it says here in the Kent online. Uh, it was clinging to the outside wall of a man's house and he said it had barely moved since he first spotted it. I removed it, combined it to a box and took it to experts at Heathrow's Animal Reception Centre to be quarantined. Well, at least that was working yesterday, was it? Ha! Oh! Come to that in a minute. Huntsman spiders can give a nasty bite, so we're lucky they didn't get hurt. Uh, they originate in parts of Australasia. Africa and Asia, the Mediterranean Basin and the Americas. And the giant variety can grow up to 15 centimetres. In le what, what's that? 15 I don't know what that is. That's foreign, that is centimetre, isn't it? How many inches? We want to know the inch size. You know, if someone had said to me, yeah, it's about six or seven inches, I'd be interested. Eight inches, eight inches, even more interesting. 15 centimetres, I don't know what that is. What is that? 15 cent. What is that, about that big? I don't know what it is. It's foreign, isn't it? Don't do foreign measurements. What's the speed here? 30 kilometres an hour. What's that? I don't know what that is. I mean, am I walking at that speed? Who knows? It carries on. It says, it's not generally considered dangerous to humans and it's unclear how the spider got to Seven Oaks. Oh, dear, dear. Well, it's probably come off a crate somewhere, isn't it? Some bananas or something like that. Wendy says... 15 is 5.9 inches. Oh, what's that? 5.9 inches? That's nothing, is it? You wouldn't even feel that, would you, Wendy? I certainly wouldn't. 5.9 inches. Don't make me laugh. Put that away and go somewhere else. Thank you. <laughs> um, good morning to Chris Bedwell, who's with us this morning. Morning, Chris. Good morning to Heidi. Are you going to stop gas? You're desperate for the phone lines to open, aren't you, Heidi? What have, you, have you got something important to say? All right. Give us a ring, ID. Go on, 020 3477 I'll open the phone line just for... I was quite happy chatting away to myself today. I really was. But if you want to call in, there you go, Heidi. 020 3477 Get your call in now. Talking to Heathrow Airport. Anyone flying? Ah! British Airways, dear. Completely kaput yesterday. Everything went wrong. It's everything went wrong in on British Airways yesterday. Grounded plane. I felt so sorry for those people queuing up at Heathrow. And you wonder why I don't fly anymore. Because if it's not that, it's something else. Isn't it? You'll be delayed. Two hour delay there. Mucking around at the passport control. Someone going off on the plane. Oh, it's horrendous flying. That's why I just do caravan holidays now. Although I hope to go to Israel next. I'm going to see. Can you sail to Israel? That's a good question. Can you actually sail to Israel or do you have to take a plane? I'm not sure. Hmm. Chris said, um, uh, Amy or whatever. Bonsoir, mon ami. It's been a while since I did French. Bonjour, la Chris. Now, Heidi, are you going to ring or not? I've opened the lines. I tell you what, Heidi, you've got two minutes to ring in. After which the lines will close again, darling, because I'm nearly finished. It's time for dinner. Look, it's quarter past 12. Got to put a couple of burgers in the oven, have a little sleep before my karaoke tonight in Camden Town. Lovely jubbly. Thank you very much. Uh, Wendy 
says, I would have been quite happy to just listen to you. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy to talk. I'm not desperate, like, for phone calls, but sometimes people like to ring in, so I do open them, but then, <laughs> and then they don't call. <laughs> oh, there she goes. There she, I can see it now. Let's take that call. Good morning, Heidi. How are you? Hello, love. You all right? I'm very well. Have you got any, any nasty spiders in you, lurking around in your house, Heidi? No, I haven't, thank God. Just imagine all those legs. What would you do with them all? Oh, God. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything worse than seeing a hunting and, spider. And, and without being rude, without being rude, if it's a male spider, yeah. if they've got eight legs, which, without being rude, I wonder what two legs it hangs between. What do you mean? You know, it. Oh, it. It. If, it, if a spider's got eight legs, I've got yeah. two legs, so there it is in the middle, right? But with a spider, which two yeah. legs does it hang between? Well, it's, it's the back of the spider. Is it? Have you seen yeah. one, then? So if, <coughs> if you look at the uh, front of the spider... Yes. ..the uh, male spider gets on top of the female spider, and then, oh. you, know, you know the sack at the oh, back of the oh, spider? God, I don't, well, I don't know if I want to talk about this sort of thing. Then. Yeah, go <laughs> on, dear. Not after church, darling. Oh, carry on, carry on. No, we won't talk about it if you don't oh, want to talk about it. no, I don't think I've seen spiders doing that. I caught two ladybirds yesterday. No, the day before yesterday it was. On one of my lilies. They were doing oh. it on one of my lilies. Ladybirds. Little black oh, and white things know. they were. Black, black and red. They are pretty, though, ladybirds, aren't they? But they are, yeah. We like ladybirds, and they're very good. You shouldn't kill a ladybird. They eat all those disgusting green flies that keep munching away on my plot. I have to keep spraying them with my special spray, Heidi. Yeah, with what water, you got, yeah. What you got to tell me today, darling? What what no, item I'm, of interest? I was going to say, um, I like that show as well. I can't pay for the ticket, away. Oh, you like it as well? Have you been on it yet? No. Well, you must owe money to someone, Heidi. Come on, girl. <laughs> I, I tell you what I like though I like the, the um, father and the son team have you seen them too? the what darling? the father and the son team the son team? the father and the son team I'm, I'm not getting that say that again the father, the dad the father of who? the father and son team oh, the, the two black guys yeah, the father. Oh and yes, yeah. Now I, I, I think, um, I saw a little news article on the father, and I think he's got something wrong, possibly some sort of cancer. That's why he's not in it at the moment. Del, Delroy, is it Delroy? Delroy, yeah. Delroy, that's him. Lovely man. You know, if if yeah. someone was ever going to come and collect a debt from me, I would want it to be him because he's very fair. He's like yeah, the he old is. bloke. You know, the old bloke called Paul. He, he's not in this series. You know, the very old bloke. Oh, yeah, the one with the glasses. That's it, Paul. He's not in this series either. Um, he's, did you know he's 70 years old? Is he? He's 70 years old, Paul Bohill. That's him. He he's he's one of my it. friends on Facebook as well. But the black guy, Delroy, um, or Del... I, I think it's Delroy. I think he's got, uh, got some sort of medical issue, and that's why he's not on there at the moment. And he comes across, I'm sorry, he comes across as such a nice man. He yeah, is he very, is. very fair. But I don't like the big fat bloke with the glasses. And he's got oh, like God. a mole on his face. He's just horrible. He's yeah, just he horrible. Is. He's isn't not he? very nice at no, all. No. He comes across as aggressive as well. Yes, aggressive, dear. Not like us, darling. Pacifists. Pacifists, dear. That's what we are. Yeah, we're lovers. We're not foes. Lovers? What, you and me? I don't remember no. that. <laughs> Is that something I did when I was out, out of my head in the 90s? <laughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. So you had a good day at church, then? Eh? You had a good time at church, apart from that hymn. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know the hymn, uh, uh, Heidi. I wish they'd just choose hymns that we know. Do you know what? If that was me, I would have, walk, I would have got up and walked straight to the front and said, I don't know this one. Can you provide words? Can we do another one? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how well that would go down, Heidi, to be honest. <laughs> oh, actually, you, you, you should take your karaoke equipment along. 
Well, that I have funny. suggested to quite a few bars now that we do him karaoke, but no one's taken me up on the offer yet. I just don't know why. Oh, I don't think, I don't think karaoke in church really goes together. That's no, no, why. no, 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 not karaoke at church, but to do sort of, you know, I could turn it because I can play most of them on the organ, except the last one. That even Vivian that sits next to me didn't know that. I looked at her face and she just threw her eyes up to heaven. Vivian did. No, I don't like it when, when I don't know the hymn. Me neither, lovey. Me neither. Anyway, you have a lovely day, Heidi. You too, babe. Lovely to talk to you. Bye-bye, darling. Bye. Heidi calling in from Earl's Court in London. Boys, That's very posh there. I could only dream of living in Earl's Court. I wouldn't want to live in Earl's Court. All too much traffic. And people everywhere... People, people everywhere. Oh, it's too busy for me. Too busy. Uh, Chris Bedwell says, last time I flew, uh, it was to Las Vegas. Upgraded my seat for 60 quid. What, to business? Surely not. Oh, you must mean economy to, to premium economy. It's not 60 quid to, to, to upgrade to business. Me and my mate went to Vegas once. We went on American Airlines, Chris. Oh, never again. That, it, that was the most uncomfortable seat I have ever sat in on a plane in my life. It was awful, ghastly seats, miserable, miserable staff who were all about 200 years old. The staff, every time you got up, you know how you, because I uh, dare to, I'm going to, can I just tell you this? But you mustn't tell anyone. We flew economy on that occasion. And the, the reason we flew economy was because I'd been to and from Australia a few times in the nice seats. Well, to go to Vegas is about half the time. I thought, oh, it'd be all right in one of those economy seats. That just is half the time. Oh, couldn't be further from the truth. It was awful. Awful. So uncomfortable. But on the way home, I thought, oh, I wonder how much it would be to upgrade to business class. It can't be that much. Well, they wanted about £900 each. Ridiculous amount of money they wanted. So we didn't. We didn't. You must have you must have upgraded to um premium economy, which gives you a bit more legroom. I'm not interested in the fancy meals or the free drink or anything like that. I just want to be able to stretch out, which you cannot do in economy. It's not about class at all. It really isn't. I'm so uncomfortable on a plane. Even actually, even in the business class seats, I get uncomfortable. After a while, I'm going one way. That, oh, I can't get comfortable. And when they say they're lay flat beds, they are. The seats do indeed lay flat. But, but, you've got two sides to the seats. You cannot, you can't, stre you can't stretch out like that on a bed in, in a business class seat. You can't. You can lay flat. And then you, you're like that, and, you, and, and then you're like that around the other way. It's not as good as you think. It's much, much, a hundred times better than economy, but it's not actually like a bed. It's a seat, a restricted seat, because they've got things either side, you see, so you can't fall off. And you're, like, you're, you're trying to go to sleep on your arm, basically, and it doesn't work for me. I've had enough of that flying business. Uh, Chris says, I've started my YouTube channel yesterday. Just search for Chris Bedwell and you'll find my first video. Yeah, Chris Bedwell's got a, got a YouTube. Give him a bit of support. Have a little watch after this, because they're going to disappear shortly. We've only got about four birthdays today. They're coming up in a minute. Uh, Chris Himaoki. Himaoki. Does anyone want to employ me to do a Himaoki? There must be somewhere that wants to do Himaokis. Not with that last hymn, though, that we did. Um, ah, yes. Thank you, Chris. He, he upgraded to premium economy, better legroom. That's what we're after. A bit more legroom on the planes, aren't we? That's all we ask. A bit of extra uh, legroom. Uh, Adam is getting on with his flat. Adam's moved recently to Sidcup. And he's doing a bit of decorating, and he hates decorating, does Adam. So my heart goes out to you, Adam. It really does. You get on with that decorating, darling. I'm going to leave you in peace just after today's birthdays. Let's do today's birthdays. Daniel Nielsen. Uh, oh, by the way, thank you to those of you that have shared today's video on your timelines as well. I do appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Thank you for sharing the video, OK? Uh, happy birthday to the very good-looking Daniel Nielsen who is 25 years old today. Happy birthday, Daniel. Happy birthday to Daryl Bestford. Uh, looking very posh in a little suit. Is that a cravat? 
He's wearing a red cravat, very, very posh. And Coral Deville, long time since I saw you, my darling. Happy birthday, Coral. Here comes the song. <laughs> Daniel Darrell and Coral Happy birthday to you There's our birthday today Tonight it's Sunday night So I'll be hosting karaoke Our brand new regular Sunday night That's at the Camden Eye Just across the road from Camden Town Tube Station Starting at 8 o'clock And finishing at 11 o'clock So that's karaoke tonight And every Sunday at the Camden Eye just across the road from Camden Town Station, starting at 8 o'clock and finishing at 11 o'clock. Completely free, of course, uh, to come in. Come and have a, lot of, a couple of drinks. Either come and sing a song or come and watch our singers. Have a lovely Sunday and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you very much for joining me. Oh, by the way, don't forget, once again, uh, if you missed Saturday's show, <coughs> if you're in South West London or Surrey or the surrounding areas, part of Berkshire, part of Hants, uh, then you can hear my show tonight on Upload Radio, tonight and tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. That's at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, sorry, at 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock tonight. See you again very soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.